there are many wonderful fishes that I get to work on and study. And it's very difficult to choose a favorite, but I can at least take one of them that comes to mind and talk about why I think it is so amazing, and you will too in a moment. It is a member of the barbled dragonfish family. Now, first of all, barbled dragonfish, is that like some fictional made up? No, it's amazing. So what is a barbel in terms of barbled dragonfish? It's an appendage that typically comes from the chin. And we believe, and we've seen in videos from, we have, it's so cool, we have access to these, it's called an ROV. Everything seems to be an acronym in science. It means remotely operated vehicle. And where do we operate it from? From the ship. We take basically something that looks like, kind of like a robot spaceship, and we attach it to the ship, and we throw it in the water. And then you get to go into the lab of the ship. And I've gotten to sit at the console, and they put this big thing in your lap, and it's joysticks and buttons. It's the most ultimate video game you could ever play because you're driving a spaceship underneath the ocean. I mean, we do the coolest things. So you, and it's got video cameras on it and still cameras and, and lasers for measurements so that we know how long, you know. And so what we do is we put it under there and I've never driven one to go so deep, but others have, and I've seen these videos. And you've seen some of these barbled dragon fishes use the barbel and extend it. And it looks as though it's a type of lure to attract fish and plankton because it's got like little frilly things on the end and or it's a different color and so it looks like food and so what's attached to the end of that barbel at the chin this fish with these needle huge teeth that close the teeth don't even fit in the mouth they come up and over the mouth like this and they're huge well, why would you do that? Because when you live deep in the water, in the mesopelagic zone, which is 200 to 1,000 meters below the surface of the ocean, food doesn't come by as often as it does when you're at the surface where there's sunlight and there's a lot of animals going by. So anything that comes by, you better catch it in your mouth and you better keep it there with all those teeth. And so the one that comes to mind, because there are many that do this, that have these crazy teeth that are larger than its own mouth, is something called a loose jaw. Why is it called a loose jaw? Because it's able to imagine dropping the floor of your mouth, extending out from your jaw bones, from where they attach at your ears, and basically the floor of your mouth, this part isn't um, solid, isn't continuous, because you have to be able to wrap your whole mouth around prey that might be bigger than your head. So that's one cool thing. It's got the crazy teeth. It can open up its jaw, it can, and it's not even connected to its neck. It doesn't really have an, a neck like we do, but it's not connected per se the way ours is. But then it has a red spot here. What is that red spot? It's a light organ, and it turns its lights on. And not only does it turn its light on to look for fish and plankton it can eat, that color is not detectable by the things that it eats. I mean, is that not amazing? It's got crazy teeth, it's got these light organs on it, so while it's foraging around and looking for prey, turning on its lights that other animals can't see, because they don't have, like we have rods and cones, but other fishes don't have that, this fish does. Um, so it can see red and it can, because red dis is the fastest color to disappear in the water. Um, that's why everything looks blue because it's the other end of the spectrum. Anyhow, um, you turn your lights on and you're looking. Well, you can't ever forget in the ocean, there's always something that is bigger than you that will eat you. So here's this loose jaw of the barbed dragonfish family with its lights on underneath its eye, like headlights searching for fish, ready to extend its mouth that isn't connected exactly to its neck and wrap it around something that could be bigger than its head. It has to worry about things that might eat it. So what does it do? It has these light organs on the ventral portion of its body, like the stomach side of a human. So on its stomach, while it's swimming around, because there could be something beneath it that looks up and says, 
I see the silhouette of some tasty treat going by. So then it takes these light organs that it has, smaller than the one under its eye, and switches them on and off to match the light that's coming, that, that's just breaking through from the surface. So it erases its silhouette while it's got its headlights on searching for fish. I can't do that. It's amazing. I'm, I, when I learned about this fish, I, just like right I, I was just now, I was speechless. I said, you've got to be kidding. It has headlights? It turns lights on to erase its silhouette? It can open its jaw bigger than its head? What does that even mean? The fishes I study are the coolest things on the planet.